Do this. I am ready when you are ready. As Martin Luther King said in his speech, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by their color or by the skin of their content or their character. He was speaking of black men and women and other minorities gaining equal rights and being treated like human. The key word in that statement is equal. King did not ask the, that minorities be given privileges that whites do not get. However, a guilt was thrown to America to redeem for our actions, and they came up with the idea of bleep. Good morning. Good morning. Please sit down. And how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm just saying thank you. I have heard great things about you. Yeah. Well, I have devoted my whole high school career to getting into this university. It means a lot to me. And it shows you have been very involved throughout high school in basketball, baseball, golf, student council, the prom committee, not to mention all of this volunteer work you've done. You are very involved. Makes for one excellent candidate for this university. I thank you. I work extremely hard in my community to try to make a difference, try to help as many people as I can. Good. You have, it says you have a 4.0 GPA, and unbelievable, you got 34 on the ACT. This is very impressive. Well, thank you. I stayed out countless nights studying for that test. I mean, I made it like a three month commitment to doing my best. Hmm. Try to do that. It's been my dream that I was the college. Uh, in, in the tradition. Good, good. Um, one question though. Uh, we interview a lot of candidates to come to this school, and out of all of them, what makes you so special? Why should I accept you? Well, I feel like I'd be a good representative for this college. I mean, I work hard. I'm a smart kid. Um, I like the college. I want to have it. You know, I want to be a part of it. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, I will take some time and look over your application and essays, and I will get back to you shortly. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Please sit down. How are you doing? I'm great. Um, and yourself? Man, uh, it's good, man. Good to be there. Thank you. Uh, it was my pleasure. I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, it works to get around. Well, it seems as though you haven't been involved in any extracurriculars during your high school career. Why is that? No, I think that those are not for me. That is not for me. I think it doesn't fit me. And I see that you have a 2.8 GPA and you received a 17 on your ACP. Yeah, I work really hard in that, so my mom is really proud of me. Well, why do you feel I should pick you over the other candidates, though? I mean, you're obviously lacking other extracurricular activities and outstanding academic Well, I have heard a lot, a lot, there are a lot of weekend parties, college parties, and my buddies go there. So. Well, hands up. Congratulations, you've made it in here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Thank sorry. You. We just we can't accept you at this time. Good afternoon. I'm Kara Buckner with your daily dose of the horrors of reality, reporting from the site of a protest on the University of Michigan campus. Excuse me, miss. Why are you protesting today? I'm protesting against GLEAVE. Just what is GLEAVE? GLEAVE is like reverse discrimination. Colleges accept more minorities so they don't get accused of being racist, even if whites are better qualified. And why did you choose to protest here? This school is denying admission to many qualified young people. Because of GLEAVE, admission is based on a point system. You gain points based on grades, test scores, community activities, the normal stuff. The school gives minorities an automatic 20 points just for being a minority. By giving these people the 20 points, they can be accepted 
with a score of 80 points, while white Americans need 100. This is ridiculous. Wow, you're right, that is ridiculous. Thank you for your time. Let's head over here to this lady. Excuse me, ma'am, what's your name and why are you here today? My name's Hannah, and I'm here because I want to end bleed. It's ludicrous that minorities can get in just because they're minorities. They don't need any qualifications. Very good point. Do you have any examples? Yes, I do. There's an instance at Kaiser Aluminum and Chemical Corporation. A man named Mr. Weber, who was white, was applying for a job, and he had experience and wanted to become a better employee. He decided that he would just go in for it, and the program decided they needed more diverse, and they needed African Americans. And because of this, Mr. Weber didn't get in. Based on the acceptance qualification of race, uh, Mr. Weber would have been one of the first ones in. Now you see, believe is affecting jobs. Would you rather people shape the future regardless of race, or would you rather it just be diverse? Hmm, very interesting. That is a very thought. That is a very thought-provoking story. I'm here in hope. I'm here in hope that we can someday live a, a free, live a life free from bleep. If there were no bleep in today's world, we would live much more fair and equal. So how do you plan to achieve this tremendous goal? Well, to start, I believe it would be at least 70% of bleep if colleges and employers would remove race from their applications. If they don't know what race people are, they can't discriminate at all. Positions would be based solely on experience, grades, and all that good stuff. That would be ideal because they're, because those are the things that matter. It doesn't matter if you hire or accept five white people and four black people. What matters is who is better qualified for the position and who can do what they need to do to benefit for school or workplace. If there were no bleed, life would be so much better. We would live in confidence and our doctors, the people we trust with our lives, our teachers, the most people shaping our children, a pharmacist, the person who trusts with our drugs, and all of these People, it is very obvious that you would like them to be hired based on qualification and skill, not race. You want the best you can have, and with, with BLEAD, you might not get the best. Like Hannah said, would you rather that people that will shape your future be qualified regardless of race, or would you rather them be diverse? Well, there you have it, folks. Multiple accounts of how BLEAD affects our lives and our future. You've heard the facts, and now it's up to you to, up to, you to see how horrible BLEAD really is. I'm Kara Buckner, and this has been your daily dose of the horrors of reality. She's been here for two years. How can she get to stay and I don't? Than they do. Because if we fire the non-American lineage staff, then it'll appear that we're racist. That is preposterous. You're taking us to court. Yeah. So, oh, we get to keep our job and we'll go. Because I have no one with her aid. So, when you don't keep quiet, guys, and if you get fired, take the, the responsibility and go get our job. I will. I hate you. Thank you. Thank you. That was it. Okie dokie.